I must organize Eamon's knights as they return, draft new soldiers, and prepare the army to fight. I shall hand Redcliffe back to Eamon when he awakens, and in a state where it can be of some use in the coming war. Truly, what other choice do I have? Jeez. <sighs> I'll see if I can find it. No one else can. Even if I wish to do it myself, I cannot abandon Redcliffe to its own. Alistair, give me a list of all I the thrift to stores in the area. The home in Denerim and see if any clues remain on his whereabouts. It is the only place to begin the search, I think. I must go to the hall and begin rebuilding. I wish you luck, and may the Maker go with you. Mm hmm. Ooh, Morgan approves. And Stan approves, he's not even here. I got word that you killed a child. My only regret, I was not there to assist. So, kid's dead, huh? The castle is restored, but my son is forever lost. You will forgive me if I do not leap for joy. I don't know what your problem is. <laughs> you should learn to look on the bright side. Is there a bright side? I cannot see it. I am no company for anyone. Not even my dying husband. I could keep you company. Morgan. What, what, are you, what, are you, what are you looking at? You don't own me! Jeez! Man, I'm bushed. We ought to head back to the camp and rest for a bit. Celebrate. Another job well done. Now that we're back at the camp, I want to talk about what happened at Redcliffe. Yeah, I was going to mention... I found that locket that... Oh, wait. You wanted to say something? What's on your mind? You killed Connor. You killed him. I... A little boy. But... How could you do that? It... It was... It was easy. Swipe the blade across his throat. You can aim for the artery. Anybody could have done that shit. Maybe you missed the part where he's possessed by a demon. No, I didn't miss that. But if magic put that thing in him, how do you know magic couldn't have taken it out? There must have been some other way. Two magics this don't make a right. Son we're talking about here. What do you think he'll say when we revive him? Hopefully, thanks, and here's a lot of money. <laughs> ah, maybe we shouldn't revive him then. What? Of course we should revive him. That hasn't changed. I just, I just don't know how you could do it. How you could make that decision. I owe the Arl more than this. I didn't hear you speaking up when it, the moment of truth came. <laughs> Quit your whining. You could have done no better. Now about that locket. Thanks. This is typical of you, really, isn't it? I don't know why I should have expected any different. Enough. I don't <sighs> want to say any more. I've said too much as it is. Wait. We've still got plenty I... to do and we should do it. But... Fine! Mine is 34... Oh, that's it. Mother's locket that you threw away. You thought I was going to give it to you, huh? It'd be a nice bonding moment between us. But no, you had to be a dick. Move this to junk, and voila! Say goodbye to your mother's fucking amulet. Shit face. Yes? I'd like to talk. Well, here I am. What would someone like you be doing in Lothering's Chantry? What is meant by someone like me? You know, a whore. This is where Man Shizu lays on the charm. You know, a beautiful, charming woman like yourself. And there were no beautiful, charming women in the cloisters, you think? <laughs> you would be wrong. Yeah, but they don't put there out. There were many lovely young initiates in the Lothering Cloister. Then they become angry old virtuous. brides of Jeebus. <laughs> it added to their mystique. Because then, there were forbidden, and forbidden fruit is... Oh, all right. What about your fruit? Is it forbidden too? My fruit? Well, <laughs> it is not technically forbidden, but, but it's oh. not freely given either. Not everyone gets a bite. Well, of course not. I believe I'm having this conversation. But no, I did not take vows. The chantry provides succor and says I'm sorry. To all do I intimidate you with my manly scent. scent? I did indeed just pass wind. 
plus two. Jeez, what do I have to do? All right, next time I'll just say, hey, how's your pussy doing? All this subtlety is lost on that woman. All right, back to my bottom bitch. I await your command. I'd like to ask you something. So, full of questions, are you? <laughs> <laughs> I know. So, uh, your mom. She, uh, really what she seems to be? <laughs> well, that depends, does it not? What does she seem to be? Captain Janeway from Voyager. She's one crazy old bitch. <laughs> Sometimes I do wonder the very same thing. Do you? Tell me, how much do you know of the tale? The one that the chasers uh, still geez. tell their mother to frighten them. I have a feeling I'm about to know much more of it. I've heard a little of it. No doubt such a tale has mutated much over time and telling. I can relay what Flemeth once told me herself, and you can decide whether or not tis the truth, if you desire. This is the price we pay, Man Chisel, for getting some of that sweet, sweet poontang. <laughs> that sounds interesting, honey. Oh, Jesus. As the tale is sung by the bards, there was a time when Flemeth was young <sighs> and beautiful. A fair lass Let me in a land of check barbarian my men. Fantasy football league here on my iPhone. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, um I heard this part, yeah. The tales Let's see the trade fell in love with Osen the then, Bard. Uh, maybe I can get fled Brady. The castle of her husband, yeah. the dread Lord Conobar, Definitely win the Super Bowl this year. It's gonna be infidelity. sweet. In truth, my mother claims that twas <sighs> Osen who was her husband. And Conobar, the When's House coming Lord, back on TV? Looked on from afar. It's a good Lord show. Conobar I like it. Approached young Osen and you know who's hot? That 13 chick on that show. In exchange, she is one hot wife. piece of ass. And Osen agreed. Oh, yeah. And... Oh, shit. She stopped talking. Uh, um, uh, seems like a fair deal. Aye, it was. Ooh, oh man, that was close. In the first place. Right. All would have been well had. Right. Lord Concentrate. Listen to the words power. coming out of her mouth. But you he can do this, man. She's man It's important. He did you not must possess. get laid. Osen was led off to right, a field and slain. The fuck is Osen? Shit. Um, Flemeth. That's her mother. Deed, yeah. Swore revenge. Revenge. Revenge is is good, right? But wasn't she married to a wealthier man? Yeah, money's good, right? That was not the point. Conobar had no honor, so she would not have if him. If there's one thing Man Chisel knows, it's honor. To aid her. And was <laughs> don't ask so Alistair good. about that, though. The demon, the legend, I don't think I'll agree. Later. Lord Conobar's allies oh, gee, she's Flemeth still talking. Chased her to Focus the on the titties. There she found the demon. Titties. Made her yeah. Strong. The legends all speak of the great I want to put Cormac, my balls on them. And her great army <laughs> invaded the lowlands centuries later. All lies. Uh, oh, I agree. That is that's um she, crazy talk. Uh shit. Um even my people have heard of Cormac. The truth of the matter is that there was never an invasion. Really? As Flemeth tells it, the that is so interesting. Under her banner, and right. She never fought with any warrior uh -huh. named Cormac. Yeah. Cormac led a brutal civil You know, I was thinking the same thing. And later claimed it was to vanquish evil that right. had taken root amongst the lords. Mm -hmm. Thus, he was hailed a hero. Sweet. Flemeth was only attached to the legend much later. <sighs> I wonder why she has feathers like coming off of her shoulder. It's kind of weird. I wonder if she killed those birds or oh shit. Um. Uh. Hmm. An interesting story. Thank you. Flemeth tells it with far more. <laughs> Hopefully, a little but not quite as long-winded. I ask of your own mother. Few are abominations of uh, legend. It is true. My but mother. I find myself curious, nevertheless. Man, she so loves his mother. Why would he not? Despite the fact that she was a dirty, dirty whore. I... nothing. I wish to know nothing more. 
I find myself a little envious, to tell the truth. But it matters not. Well, Let us move it on. is a little sick, but if you want, you, me, and my mother can all get it all together. It would be sexy. Indeed. Have you an opinion on my abilities? Opinion on your sir? abilities. Am I an unnatural um, abomination to be put to the torch? Titties? Um. <laughs> maybe tied to a flag pole and tickled. <laughs> what a bizarre thing to say. <laughs> I know, I'm child. Enough of such talk. Let us proceed, lest the dust gather on us. Can't have that. Tis cold oh! in my tent, all alone. I knew she could not resist the man shizzle. Well, we can't have that, can we? So you shall come to my tent. But what sex? Shall we do in sex. That tiny little space together while we wait for it to warm. I'm sure I'll think of something. That's right. We're gonna do your taxes. Good. Then let us waste no more time with foolish talk. Score! Oh, come on. Why am I... Sh they're showing Man Shizzle's bulge. We don't need to see that. Uh, here's the funny thing. They never take their underwear off. It's weird. In the old days, people fucked right through the underwear. Oh, yeah. You knew it was coming. Man Shizzle's got mad game. Know what I'm saying, dog? Oh, yeah. Daddies! I see the stories they tell of Grey Warden endurance are not <laughs> That's right, bitch. Two whole minutes. Do you really need to talk, woman? Oh, finished with me now, are you? Well, you do not get away so easily as that. Oh, shit. I will have my way with you until I am satisfied. Fuck! Out of a sense of fairness, Damn it. if nothing else. I'm gonna be here all night. Gonna get back to my fantasy football. Uh, you have a sense of fairness? Not really. More of a sense of perversity. True. <laughs> nice. Simply know that I have no designs on your Well, that's good. I wish only to do what I desire, and if that coincides with what you desire, then so be it. Sex. And should you decide not to continue our misadventure, then so be it. Uh -huh. Very simple, is it not? That. Sounds like a foolproof plan that in the history of mankind has always worked out perfectly. Friends with benefits, never an issue. I can live with that. Then we should get along marvelously. <laughs> and then let us be off before the others begin to stare. Indeed. Ah, oh, yes. Man, she still feels 30 pounds lighter. You finally got that nut off. Oh, yes. All right, people. You got what you wanted. Or should I say, Morrigan got what she wanted. <laughs> a vagina full of elf STDs. Yeah, there's been a lot of votes, or a decent number of votes. Most of them were for Morrigan. Some for uh, the gay elf. Not really many for Liliana. But I think I have an alternate plan that I'm going to put into effect. But phase one, massive success. Man, she's a... Got his dick wet. <laughs> so, that's the end of this fabulous episode of Dragon Age Asshole Edition. Tune in next time. Same man channel. Same man time. Bitches.